Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, I I'm doing a type of video that I've never really done here on the channel. You know, I I'm a pretty reserved guy. I'm a pretty closed off guy. I don't really talk about my personal life and like things that are kind of going on with me very often. But shit, I'm gonna just try it out this time, see how it works, see if it's good, you know, and just kind of talk about what's going on with me because... I got a lot of shit going on right now, man, and it's really just taking its toll on me, right? Like, I get it, everybody goes through their problems, everybody has their down moments, everybody's got some shit going on pretty much all the time, right? Like, life is not easy for anybody, we all got things that, you know, get in the way and, and, and just complicate the process and, and teach us harsh lessons, and I understand that, I mean, I'm, I'm human too, man, so I get that, I, I get that this is part of the process and everything, but that doesn't necessarily make it easier to go through... But man, shit's really just been kind of taking a toll on me recently, and I just want to talk about it and talk about a couple of things that are going on and just kind of discuss everything that's going on with me right now. Because if you just let shit bottle up and you just sit there and you let your emotions weigh on you and you let everything that's happening bad in your life weigh on you, that doesn't really get you nowhere. You know what I mean? Sitting there and internalizing all that shit and oppressing yourself with it, that don't do nothing except make the situation worse. So, I mean, like, I, I don't feel like I got really a whole lot of, sh of people that I can talk about this shit with. Like, that's the thing, too, man. I get a lot of messages all the time from people and they're like, oh, Optimus, you know, you helped me through a really bad place in my life. You know, uh, maybe I was going through something at school or whatever and and you helped me get through that. I got to watch your videos. It made my day better. And I've had like veterans and shit hit me up like, oh, thank you for covering like this certain topic. Like it really helped expose and bring up a bunch of stuff about it. And it really made me happy, you know, as someone who served or like people talking about, oh, I watch you while I work and it helps me get through my work day. So I kind of just wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about the shit that's going on in my life because... Shit, I know there's a lot of people out there like you, maybe, who's watching this video and, like, maybe you don't have nobody to talk to and you don't have anybody there for you personally and, shit, maybe hearing that I go through shit or something will help you out too, you know what I mean? Maybe you'll get something from that or you'll hear something that I say and it'll help you get through that, so. Man, shit, it seems like the whole world is just kind of against me right now, man, like, everything's going on at once. And like, I'm nervous to even make this video. Like I said, I've never made a video like this. I've never really exposed like this personal side of myself. And like, at the end of the day, like, I know I'm good, right? Like everything's fine. I mean, I I'll get through this and I'll, I'll prevail and I'll be able to push through it. But I mean, just right now, it definitely sucks. So the first thing I want to talk about, and this isn't the biggest deal ever, but man, it really comes to do with my work. Like, uh, I got banned off Twitter for a week. And if anything, this is just like the icing on the cake. Now, usually like I wouldn't really give a fuck, right? Like, oh, I got kicked off Twitter for a week uh, and everything, but I, I, the reason that I care and the reason that it actually fucks with me a little bit is because I've got so many projects going on right now and like so much stuff coming up and like so many cool things that are coming out that I've been working on for months and everything, just, you know, putting all my time and effort into, you know, scaling my company to do these things and, and whatnot. And then right as everything starts to come along, man, and everything's starting to finish up and we're getting everything ready to roll out and everything. Uh, all of a sudden, I get kicked off of Twitter for a week, right? And I got kicked off of Twitter for some bogus shit. This wasn't even something like I did wrong, man. Like, I didn't even say anything crazy. I didn't do anything crazy. I got kicked off for a completely bullshit-ass reason. And the thing is, is I can't even appeal it. That's what sucks the worst. Like, bro, I can't even, like, talk to Twitter and, like, you know, send them, you know, something to let them know that they messed up or whatever. But I got banned off of Twitter for a week a couple days ago. I think it was the night before last, if I remember correctly correctly uh so what happened was i've been watching this youtuber a lot and i really fuck with his content and you probably actually know who he is i mean i shouldn't say probably but a lot of you will probably know who he is his name is damian luck 925 he goes by fulcrum fulcrum come in yup yodi gang feel me like he's one of my favorite youtubers right now and i've been watching him a lot and so i showed some love to him over on twitter man i share one of his videos you know i was like this is one of my favorite up-and-coming youtubers and everything like i really fuck with this guy's videos and somebody commented underneath and it, like i just did that catchphrase you know the fulcrum come in yo yodi gang that shit he, he's got a couple catchphrases and another one is him he'll be like faded than a hoe 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 right and basically i interacted with a fan who commented who knew who he was and i said that man i just typed in faded than a hoe five times and 
I guess some automated system over at Twitter or something thought that I was bullying somebody or some shit, right? They thought that I was like, you know, calling somebody a hoe or like attacking them. When in reality, you know, it's just a, a saying. It's not an attack against anybody. It's nothing negative behind it or anything, right? It's just saying faded than a hoe, right? Like, it's just somebody's catchphrase on YouTube, man. Like, two minutes after I tweeted that shit, they told me that my account was locked. And I was just like, damn, bro. And they said I had to delete the tweet. And I was like, all right, bet I'll delete the tweet, man. It's not that big of a deal. But I deleted the tweet and they still said that they were finna lock my account up and they weren't gonna let me use my account for seven whole days. So I can't tweet, I can't retweet, I can't like nothing, I can't send no private DMs, I can't talk in the group chats that I'm in, I can't interact with all these other YouTubers that I've been talking to in private. And the worst part about it, man, is like I said, I got all these projects I'm working on, man. Like I, I'm supposed to get the final version of my first comic book back today from the artist and you know I'm, I'm gonna release that and i was gonna use twitter to help roll that out and you know let everybody know that i had a comic book coming out and everything but now i can't do that because shit like i'm banned off of twitter for the next couple days like i can't tweet nothing i can't show y'all no pictures i can't do anything like i can't share a link to it and you gotta think man i got like 93 94 000 followers on that platform like a lot of people on my twitter they pay attention to my twitter simply because it's an outlet where they can reach me at you know what i mean i'm on there a lot and i'm in interacting with my fans a lot and i'm tweeting about all my newest projects and everything that i work on and now I, I can't even tweet that shit out you know and like with optimus today we've been writing articles and everything on optimistoday.com for content and everything and just free articles for people to read i can't share those on twitter now and that was like the main source of where i was getting people to view these articles from you know i was tweeting the links out and shit and people would click the link right there off twitter and it would go to the website now i can't do that man like i, I can't tweet that shit out and i got phase two of of my video game Optimus Zombies that's supposed to be done on November 28th and we're on schedule to meet that and I wanted to share a bunch of shit and like you know give you guys a big update on it and everything but like I can't I can't tweet nothing man and I can't show y'all any of this shit with this new projects that I got going on and like shit that's just tough as fuck especially when like all this other stuff is going on in my life right and like I've been dedicating a whole bunch of time to all this stuff and I've been working my ass off to get all this stuff done I and mean, I've been working 12 hour days some days type of shit right to get everything together and like right when everything's coming together man this shit happens all of a sudden and it's just like wow it really just fucking sucks dude like it really fucking sucks and like there's nothing i can do it's out of my control so i shouldn't stress about it too much but i mean shit when you put months into something and you put all this time into something and you can't even update fans in the most direct way like that just fucking sucks it just completely killed my vibe you know shit then on top of that man i've been going through a lot of personal stuff like in in my life right and i, I don't want to dive into all that right because like in reality man i'm not gonna come on here and like air out all that private business and shit like that's not really worth it but i'm not on here trying to you know you know make y'all my therapist or something like that and, and tell y'all about that type of shit but i'm just going through a tough ass time in my life and like i'm a young ass man you know so i'm sure like once i'm older and shit it'll be a lot easier right because like i'll have that life experience and i'll be like oh man I've, I've been through this and i've been through that and you know this has happened but for the most part man like i mean my life has been pretty good recently until like up until the last couple days type of shit you know like I, i've been doing good you know with my work and everything i've had like a fulfilled personal life and everything i've been meeting all these goals and you know completing all these objectives and these tasks at hand but yet shit just keeps getting in the way you know what i mean and like shit just keeps popping up and like i said i get that's part of life right like everybody has to go through obstacles everybody's got to see the marathon out until the finish if they really want to win type shit but like it's just really tough bro and the problem that i've realized with it man is like a lot of this shit is just shit that i've never been through before right like i don't have that life experience i don't i don't know maybe the right answer yet and the truth is man and, and i know this best already is like like, I'm just gonna have to go through that shit, right? Like, I'm just gonna have to feel that shit out, and I'm gonna have to learn how to handle it, and, you know, it's just gonna have to be a pretty big life experience for me, but shit, man, that's easier said than done, right? Like, I, I know a lot of people, like, even watching this video, y'all probably have been through some similar stuff, you know what I mean? Everybody has personal drama, everyone has personal problems and shit, but, I mean, shit, right when they're brand new, right, it doesn't ever feel like it's, like, just gonna go away, you know? It's not like that shit's just gonna be better in two weeks or anything, right? Like, you gotta feel that shit shit out and you got to come up with an answer and get yourself feeling better and like figure it out and i'm in the process of that right now and it's really hard but the truth is man is like i know i can do it like i believe in myself and like i believe that i'll be okay 
And like, I know that at the end of the day, right, like I'm gonna learn a lot from all this stuff and I'm gonna be a better person because of it. And I'm gonna be a better man because of it, but it's really fucking tough. And shit, man, to be honest with you, another part of it is like, as a man, it feels like you can't really ever open up and like, you can't talk about shit. Like you can't be emotional and you can't say anything about like how you really feel. Like you gotta keep that shit bottled up and you gotta have like a straight smile on your face and you gotta take shit with, with sunshine and just deal with it, right? But shit, that's unhealthy, man. That's not a good way to look at things. Like it, it's got to be known for real that like it's okay for men to cry like it's okay for men to deal with mental issues it's okay to feel emotions as a man and like shit we kind of live in a society where like a lot of men you know aren't really taught that you know and that includes me bro like when i was growing up it was like all oh, stop crying be a man like that's what everybody said like you, you you couldn't show your emotions or like show a softer side to yourself or like expose how you really feel because like that got you judged and that got you shit on, but like, truth is, man, like, I don't really give a fuck what anyone thinks about me, man. Like, if someone watches this video and they think I'm a bitch because I'm dealing with personal problems and I took the time to talk about it on my personal platform, then it is what it is, bro. Like, that's just how they feel about me, but I'm gonna be real, man. I just kind of needed to vent. Like, I just want people to know, like, I'm a person too, right? Like, everybody goes through shit, and that includes me. Like, yeah, I got a YouTube channel, and I be I make YouTube videos for a living, and like, I got a cool job and everything, and like, I, I talk in my videos, and it never seems like there's really anything wrong maybe but shit just know optimus goes through it too bro like if you're going through it and i'm going through it then somebody else is going through it and nobody's ever really alone man and like right now in this current point in time right like this is the loneliest i've ever felt like it really feels like man you you really don't have anybody you know what i mean like you can't talk to nobody you, you can't go through this shit with nobody right but one thing that i always remember when i'm feeling lonely and like right now that like i said this is the loneliest i've ever felt in my life and i feel completely isolated but the one thing that i know you know is i always got myself and that's one thing you guys always got to remember too man is if anything is ever bothering you or you ever got some shit going on and you ever feel like you really don't have anybody out there you're all alone in this world man you always got to remember first and foremost the one thing you got is yourself bro like we're all blessed to be on this planet we're all blessed to be alive right now and even with all the shit that i'm going through in my personal life right and like everything that i'm going through the one thing that i keep trying to remember and keep trying to focus on man is you can only control what you can control yourself right you can't control the circumstances out of your control and truth be told man like i'm just blessed to be able to wake up every day and have a new crack at it you know i'm not a super religious person but as a lot of people would say you know god chose us all for a reason we all have a purpose and we all got you know some higher meaning to our life right like the odds of everybody on this planet being born is like so astronomically low you know the odds of being alive every day you know it, it, it isn't anything it's not what you would think you know it's not a one in one chance or anything like that that's how our brain it feels like sometimes processes it but realistically any of us could go tomorrow and like sure yeah i'm going through a lot of shit man and i'm, I'm struggling a lot personally but one thing I know a lot, man, is like for me personally, what really helps me is just making YouTube videos and really kind of grinding this shit out. And I know a lot of people like, you know, they're going to watch this video and their first response is going to be, Ayo, bro, take a step back, take a step back from YouTube, you know, find yourself, you know, take a break. You don't need to be putting out videos every day, multiple times a day. You don't need to be, you know, grinding all this shit out and, and doing all these other things. But people have been telling me that for years, you know what I mean? Like I've been going through a lot of shit a lot. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but earlier this year, you know, I was was diagnosed with a lot of shit. I was diagnosed with extreme bipolar disorder, extreme anxiety disorder, depression, all types of shit. And I, I got medicated and everything. So I've been going through shit and I've been dealing with that and everything. And it's like, right now it's really weighing on me. But like, even with that aside and everything, right? Like I've noticed the one thing that I really want to do even throughout all of this, right? Like the one thing that I constantly keep thinking about and the thing I keep kind of driving towards and what, you know, has been perking me up over these last few days when I've been really upset and maybe I've been moping around the house and I've been laying in bed a lot and I haven't been eating and drinking shit regularly is I still want to keep making YouTube videos, man. I still want to keep grinding and like every day I wake up and like I'm trying to get in here and I'm trying to work and I'm trying to do what I can to just pull myself out of this shit. And I really, feel like just focusing on YouTube and really focusing on the things that I really fuck with and love and like spending time with my friends and my family that's really going to help me get through this and I don't know if that's the same with everybody because I know a lot of people you know there's people out there they don't have friends and you know they don't have family that they can turn to or, or whatever it may be right but at the end of the day like you got to try and reach out and, and and use those opportunities that you can to pull yourself out of shit and like I said man it just feels like the world's out to get me right now you know like I, I'm down bad like let's just admit it and you know like i'm having a pretty bad moment in my life 
And, you know, it just feels like the world's against me and everything, bro. But, like, at the end of the day, one thing I know is, is, like, yeah, it's going to feel like that some days for everybody, right? Like, everybody's going to have that time where they're like, damn, it feels like everything's set up against me. It feels like the cards aren't in my hand. But at the end of the day, you know, those feelings will fade away, dude. Like, you just got to focus on the shit that really helps you out of this shit. And for me, like, YouTube is a really big part of that, right? And, you know, like I said, I've never really opened up to y'all personally like this. I try to stay really on point and on topic and everything. But at the end of the day, like... Like, what is bottling this shit up doing? Like I said, you know, I don't feel like I really got anybody to go talk to right now. So shit, maybe the best thing for me, right, is to just chill out and make a YouTube video and just kind of talk about the shit that I'm going through and just talk about how I'm feeling and everything, right? Because, I mean, just sitting here and acting like nothing's wrong and just trying to push through and, and, and just, you know, shoveling shit at the end of the day, like, that's not getting me anywhere and that's not helping me out at all, man. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk to y'all about it and just, you know, give my perspective on life right now and, like, tell y'all what I got going on and everything because like I said I read DMs every single day on Instagram on Facebook you know uh, YouTube comments Twitter comments and people tell me all types of shit you know all oh, you changed my life you changed my perspective you helped me think this way or you helped me consider this more or whatever right and I just want y'all to know like shit ain't always sunshine uh, what is it sunshine and roses for me too I think that's what the saying is or whatever but that's just how it is right now man and I, I know I'm kind of just rambling on at this point I'm just trying to make sure I get everything I feel out you know just kind of talk about it and just say what's really on my heart because like you know I don't take the opportunity to do that enough and maybe I should maybe that's part of it man maybe I should have been this whole time like just talking about shit like this more and maybe you know every once in a while doing a video where I kind of talk about my personal shit that I got going on and you know discuss my life a little bit and like you know give my perspective on everything so I know this video probably wasn't the best structured video you know it's not like the the other Optimus uploads or anything that I upload this is probably the most personal video Video I really have ever made but shit even with everything going on man I just want to let y'all know man I love every single one of you to the death of me man y'all have been there for me pretty much through anything you know I've had people who've watched my videos for years and like just imagine all the shit that I've went through in all those years and like all the problems that I faced in those years that I never said nothing about right and how much that shit helped me you know seeing all these positive comments and seeing people tell me that you know my content changed their life or that you know they really fuck with me and I'm like their favorite YouTuber or, or anything, man, if you've got anything from my videos and, you know, I've helped you in any way or I've, I've taught you something or you've realized something from my videos or even if you haven't, man, even if you didn't get that epiphany moment and you just watch me to hear some idiot on the internet ramble on about shit while he plays video games, then so be it, man. I feel like that's my calling in life. I really enjoy doing it and I appreciate the fuck out of everybody because at the end of the day, man, I know like when everything else is rough, like all the other bullshit is kind of going on and like everything's really kind of tough for me you know, at least I got you guys, at least I got this channel, and at least I got my passion to keep working on this shit, so with that being said, I'm not really about to sit here and do the normal outro, I feel like it's not really uh, necessary or appropriate this video, I mean, as of me recording it, this shit's like almost 18 minutes long, so I just wanted to take a minute to kind of talk about shit, man, so to wrap everything up, you know, uh, just a bunch of personal shit going on, like I'm dealing with a lot on my plate, then on top of that, you know, I've been working on all these projects and shit, and then like right when they're all ready to start going, and like the rollout is starting to begin and everything and we've gotten this plan for everything out and everything all of a sudden my twitter gets fucked up for a week i'll probably be shadow banned on there now that i got fucking knocked off for a week or whatever it just really sucks man like it is what it is but it just really fucking sucks so i just wanted to talk to y'all about that and just kind of open up a little bit i love every single one of y'all man and with that being said until my next video which honestly i think will be tomorrow like i'm trying to get content out tomorrow that's like more normal or whatever but until my next video man this is optimus well opening up and signing out.